What's going on guys? It's Fox OG here and we have season three for Warzone with the Amax nerf going out. Today we are going to be talking about another ranged AR that will take its place. There is many Modern Warfare guns out there that can replace it and that will replace the Amax once it's nerfed. I think the Modern Warfare gun that is going to take the reins and it's going to reign superior on all the ARs is going to be the M4A1. We are going back to season one and two. This gun is nice and easy to use. Control that recoil. You have nothing to worry about. And you can rock it with an optic or without, depending on your actual vision. Comment down below on what gun you'll be using after the nerf. Also, share with a friend. If you're not a subscriber already, make sure you are. Hit the sub button and ring that bell. Now, let's go look at the M4A1. All right, M4A1, let's set it up. For the muzzle, we're going to be wanting to go with the monolithic suppressor so that increases our damage range as well as our sound suppression. And we won't be a red dot on the minimap, so we're going to be wanting to use this. For a barrel, you're going to be wanting to use the stock M16 Grenadier. You can also use the custom Corvus one, but I think this one's better. That's the one you're going to want to use. Next up, if you have great like eyesight, you can be rocking the TAC laser, which will help your aim down sight speed as well as the aim steadiness, aiming walk steadiness as well. The laser is visible to people, but that's not to worry about when you're just gunning them down. But if you don't have good eyesight, like me and you wear contacts or you have glasses or you just, it just doesn't work out, you can be going with an optic, the VLK30 optic. That's the one you want to be running, as well as for an underbell, you want to be using our commando, which will help with the recoil stability as well as aiming stability. If you're having a hard time running that, you can go with the where is it? The operation foregrip, which will help with your recoil control. If not, just use the commando foregrip, and then you're going to be wanting to run the 50 or 60. I would suggest going with the 60. Your aim down sight speed is reduced a little bit more, but you have all that much more ammo to run with. So this is the setup for the M16 or the M4A1 that you want to be running in Verdansk. Also, if you have it unlocked, which I'm currently working on it, you want to run the T post so it doesn't look like your recoil is going that much. It doesn't bounce as much. All right, that's it for this week's video. I'm Fox OG. This is the M4A1 that you want to be running in Verdansk. Take it easy.